Evelyn's fingers delicately gripped the porcelain teacup, her eyes fixed on the elegant patterns painted along its surface. The dining room, adorned with antique furniture and subdued lighting, felt like a museum of a bygone era. The clock on the wall chimed eight times, each strike echoing in the heavy silence that filled the room. Mason, her husband of almost three decades, sat across from her, his attention entirely absorbed by the glowing screen of his smartphone. The blue light reflected in his eyes, making them seem distant and detached. Evelyn, despite her composed exterior, felt a chill run down her spine, a chill not born out of fear, but rather from the sheer coldness emanating from the atmosphere. The tension between them wasn't new, but tonight it felt palpable, as if years of unspoken resentments had finally reached their breaking point. Evelyn cleared her throat, breaking the silence that hung like a thick fog. Another day at the office, Mason. She asked, her voice carrying a hint of weariness. Mason looked up briefly, his eyes narrowing in annoyance. Yeah, just the usual, he replied, his tone lacking any genuine interest. He returned his gaze to the phone, fingers dancing across the screen. Evelyn took a deep breath, her mind searching for the right words. You know, Mason, it's been a while since we sat down and really talked. I miss that. He scoffed, a sound that cut through the quiet room. Talk about what, Evelyn? The same things we've been talking about for years. I've got other things on my mind. Evelyn furrowed her brow, frustration simmering beneath the surface. Mason, we used to share our dreams, our plans. Now, it's like we're just coexisting in this silent space. He looked at her, a flicker of annoyance crossing his face. I'm busy, Evelyn. I've got responsibilities. Evelyn sighed, realizing that the distance between them had become more than just physical. But we're more than just responsibilities, Mason. We used to be a team. He rolled his eyes, dismissing her words. Look, can we not do this now? I've had a long day. As the seconds ticked away, Evelyn felt the weight of unspoken words hanging in the air. The clock on the wall continued its rhythmic ticking, each sound accentuating the growing distance between them. In that moment, Evelyn couldn't help but wonder if the silence that filled the room was more than just an absence of words, it was the sound of a marriage slipping away. The next evening, the dining room seemed even colder, as if the events of the previous night had left an indelible mark. Evelyn, still grappling with the shock of Mason's callous words, sat at the table, her eyes fixed on her tea. Mason, seemingly unfazed, sat across from her, engrossed in his phone once again. The silence hung thick in the air, each passing second intensifying the heaviness between them. Evelyn's fingers traced the delicate patterns on the teacup, the porcelain cool against her skin. She mustered the courage to break the silence. Mason, we need to talk about last night, Evelyn said, her voice steady, despite the turmoil churning within her. Mason looked up, his eyes meeting hers with an indifferent stare. What's there to talk about? I said what I said. Evelyn took a deep breath, her gaze unwavering. Mason, those words were beyond hurtful. I can't fathom why you would say something like that. He chuckled, a sound devoid of remorse. Oh, come on, Evelyn. It's not like you're doing anything valuable. You're just taking up space. The cruel words cut through the room, leaving an uncomfortable silence in their wake. Evelyn's eyes narrowed, a mix of disbelief and hurt etched on her face. What did you just say? She asked, her voice a blend of shock and anger. Mason finally looked up from his phone, his expression shifting from indifference to annoyance. You heard me. It's not like you're contributing anything meaningful. You're just here, existing. Evelyn's jaw tightened, and her hands trembled slightly. This is not the man I married, Mason. What happened to the promises you made, the love we shared? Mason scoffed, 
a dismissive tone in his voice. Love? That's a naive concept, Evelyn. This is a marriage of convenience, nothing more. The weight of Mason's words pressed heavily on Evelyn's shoulders. The realization that the man she thought she knew had transformed into a stranger left her both stunned and deeply wounded. You're unbelievable, she whispered, her voice tinged with disgust. Is this really what our marriage has come to? You wishing me dead? Mason leaned back in his chair, a mocking smile playing on his lips. Marriage, Evelyn, is just a contract of convenience. Let's not pretend you're not waiting for Claire to kick the bucket for her money. Evelyn's eyes widened at the accusation, her disbelief transforming into a mixture of anger and sadness. The cracks in their marriage had deepened, and the revelation of Mason's true feelings left her standing on the precipice of a decision that would change the course of her life. Days turned into weeks, and the lingering echoes of Mason's cruel revelation continued to reverberate within the walls of their home. Evelyn found herself grappling with the profound realization that the man she had shared her life with for nearly three decades had transformed into a stranger driven by outdated beliefs and selfish desires. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the living room, Evelyn confronted Mason about the deep-seated issues that had plagued their relationship. The air in the room felt charged with tension as they sat on opposite ends of the antique sofa. Mason, we can't keep ignoring the elephant in the room, Evelyn began, her voice measured but determined. Your beliefs about a woman's role in the home and your fixation on Claire's wealth are tearing us apart. Mason leaned back, an air of nonchalance in his posture. Oh, please, Evelyn. You and your independence, your career ambitions. It's like you've forgotten what it means to be a wife. Evelyn sighed, frustration evident in her eyes. Being a wife doesn't mean giving up my identity, Mason. We're supposed to be partners, supporting each other's dreams. But it feels like you're stuck in the past, clinging to outdated notions. Mason scoffed, his dismissive attitude cutting through the conversation like a knife. Partnership. What a quaint idea. A woman's place is in the home, taking care of her family. It's how things have always been. Evelyn's eyes flashed with defiance. It's not how things have to be. I love my job, Mason. It's not just a career, it's a passion, a part of who I am. You used to appreciate that. Mason waved his hand dismissively. Times change, Evelyn. Maybe you should, too. Claire's wealth could provide us with security. Why waste your time on something as frivolous as a job? Evelyn's frustration turned to incredulity. Frivolous. My work is important to me, Mason. It's not just about money, it's about fulfillment, about contributing to something meaningful. Can't you see that? Mason's expression hardened. I see a woman who's lost touch with reality. Claire's wealth is an opportunity, one you're too blinded by your own ambitions to seize. Evelyn stood up, her resolve firm. I won't sacrifice my dreams for your outdated ideals, Mason. Our marriage deserves more than that. As Evelyn walked away from the living room, the clash of their beliefs echoed in the air. The realization that their paths had diverged irreparably settled like a heavy weight on her shoulders. The decision she faced loomed ahead, demanding resolution in the face of clashing values and a marriage that seemed to be unraveling at its seams. The subsequent days were marked by a growing sense of isolation for Evelyn. The revelation of Mason's deep-seated beliefs and the clash of their values had created an emotional chasm between them. Determined to understand the extent of the betrayal, Evelyn delved into the intricacies of their shared life and Mason's connections. One evening, as the shadows lengthened in the dimly lit study, Evelyn found herself immersed in Mason's personal space. Letters, documents, and a trail of financial records unfolded before her eyes, revealing a disconcerting truth about Mason's intentions. She had always respected Claire, Mason's mother, as a kind and intelligent woman. 
However, what she unearthed shattered that image. As the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, Evelyn confronted Mason about his clandestine activities. The tension in the room was palpable as she stood, documents in hand, facing a man she thought she knew. Mason, what is this? Evelyn demanded, her voice betraying a mix of anger and disbelief. Mason, seated at his desk, looked up with a feigned innocence. What are you talking about? Evelyn slammed the papers onto the desk, each page a testament to Mason's betrayal. This, Mason. Your conniving actions, your manipulation of Claire's trust. How could you? Mason's expression hardened as he tried to maintain composure. You're overreacting. It's just business. Evelyn shook her head, her eyes filled with disappointment. This isn't just business. It's a breach of trust, not only towards me but towards Claire. She deserves better than a son waiting for her demise. Mason chuckled, a bitter and hollow sound. She's just hoarding her wealth, Evelyn. Once she's gone, we'll be set for life. Evelyn's gaze bore into Mason's, a mixture of anger and sadness in her eyes. You're willing to betray your own mother for financial gain. I never thought you were capable of such cruelty. Mason's indifference wavered, replaced by defensiveness. It's not about cruelty, it's about securing our future. You're too blinded by sentiment to see the bigger picture. Evelyn's tone turned icy. The bigger picture is a marriage built on lies, Mason. I never signed up for this, and Claire certainly doesn't deserve it. As the weight of Mason's betrayal settled over the room, Evelyn felt a surge of determination. The discovery was a turning point, an undeniable truth that demanded action. The foundations of their marriage crumbled beneath the weight of deception, leaving Evelyn to confront not only her husband's selfish intentions but also the need to protect Claire from the heartless grip of greed. The passage of time brought a thick tension to Evelyn and Mason's home. With the revelation of Mason's betrayal looming over their marriage, a new twist awaited them. Mason, experiencing unexplained symptoms, reluctantly visited a doctor at Evelyn's insistence. The sterile walls of the doctor's office and the sterile smell of antiseptic created an uneasy atmosphere as the truth unraveled. Dr. Harper, a middle-aged man with a solemn expression, delivered the news that would alter the course of their lives. Evelyn sat by Mason's side, her fingers intertwined with his, as if clinging to a sense of normalcy that was rapidly slipping away. Mr. Turner, the test results are in, and I'm afraid it's not good news, Dr. Harper began, his eyes fixed on Mason's ashen face. Mason's grip on Evelyn's hand tightened, a mixture of fear and disbelief in his eyes. What is it, Doc? Just spit it out. Dr. Harper sighed, his voice measured. I wish I had better news, but the tests indicate a terminal condition. You have approximately six months left. Silence hung heavily in the room as Mason's eyes darted between Dr. Harper and Evelyn. Evelyn felt a strange mix of emotions, compassion for the man she had shared her life with, a fleeting sense of vindication, and a deep sense of sadness for the impending loss. Six months. This has to be a mistake, Mason stammered, his voice filled with desperation. Dr. Harper shook his head. I wish it were, Mr. Turner, but the results are conclusive. We can discuss potential treatments and support options moving forward. As the reality of the diagnosis settled in, Evelyn's mind raced. A cruel irony lingered in the air, Mason, the one who had wished for her demise, now faced his own mortality. The doctor's words had created a seismic shift in their dynamic, and Evelyn, despite her conflicted emotions, found herself at a crossroads. Later that evening, in the privacy of their home, Evelyn broached the delicate topic with Mason, her voice filled with a strange mixture of compassion and detachment. Mason, we need to talk about what Dr. Harper said. It's a lot to process. But we can navigate this together," Evelyn said, her eyes searching for a glimpse of the man she had once loved. 
Mason's gaze, now clouded with fear, met hers. I can't believe this is happening. What am I supposed to do? Evelyn took a deep breath, choosing her words carefully. We'll face it together, Mason. But I need you to understand something, you wished for my death, but I won't let you face this alone. The gravity of their situation hung in the air, and as Evelyn grappled with the complexities of their intertwined fates, the next chapters of their lives unfolded, veiled in uncertainty and the inexorable passage of time. In the wake of Mason's terminal diagnosis, a tangled web of deception began to unravel within the Turner household. Evelyn, burdened with the weight of the truth, navigated the complexities of keeping Mason's condition a secret while contending with the emotional fallout of their fractured marriage. One evening, the living room was shrouded in subdued lighting as Evelyn confronted Mason about the consequences of his actions. The air was thick with tension as they sat facing each other, their eyes reflecting the tumultuous journey they had embarked upon. Mason, we need to address the reality of our situation. Your diagnosis is a secret I'm keeping, but the deception is taking its toll, Evelyn said, her voice steady but tinged with a sense of urgency. Mason, visibly weakened by the weight of his illness, looked at Evelyn with a mix of confusion and resignation. I don't understand, Evelyn. What's taking its toll? Evelyn sighed, the gravity of her words settling in the room. Keeping your diagnosis from others, especially those who care about you, is creating a rift. Our marriage is built on a foundation of lies, and I can't shoulder this burden alone. Mason's gaze hardened, a stubborn pride surfacing. I don't need anyone's pity, Evelyn. I can handle this on my own. Evelyn's eyes softened, revealing a vulnerability beneath her composed exterior. It's not about pity, Mason. It's about honesty, about facing the truth together. We can still find a way to make these last months meaningful. Mason scoffed, a bitter edge to his tone. Meaningful. What's the point, Evelyn? I've been living a lie, and now I'm facing the consequences. There's no turning back. Evelyn's voice took on a determined edge. Consequences, yes, but also a chance for redemption. We can confront the truth, seek forgiveness, and make amends for the pain you've caused. Mason's eyes flickered with a mix of regret and defiance. Amends. It's too late for that. What's done is done. Evelyn leaned forward, her eyes locking onto Mason's. It's never too late to make things right, Mason. But it starts with facing the truth, with unraveling the deception that has woven its way through our lives. As the night wore on, the unraveling continued. Mason, faced with the consequences of his choices, grappled with the reality that his actions had set in motion a chain of events that neither of them could control. The shadows cast by deception lingered, but amidst the darkness, a glimmer of redemption emerged, a chance for honesty and a pursuit of a more authentic, albeit challenging, path ahead. The days following Mason's diagnosis unfolded with a sense of inevitability, and amidst the silence that permeated their home, an unexpected visitor arrived, casting a new light on their unraveling circumstances. Evelyn, now navigating the complexities of Mason's deteriorating health and the emotional fallout of their revelations, found herself face to face with Camilla, the alleged mistress whose presence had been hinted at during the turbulent moments of their marriage. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the doorbell rang, and Evelyn hesitated before opening the door. Camilla, a woman in her late twenties with an air of confidence, stood on the doorstep. I'm Camilla. May I come in? She said, her voice composed but carrying an undertone of tension. Evelyn, her gaze steady, allowed Camilla to enter, the weight of unspoken words hanging in the air. They sat in the living room, the atmosphere charged with an awkward tension. I'm sure you have questions, Evelyn, Camilla began, her eyes meeting Evelyn's with a mix of defiance and vulnerability. Evelyn nodded, her voice measured. I do. What is your connection to Mason, and why are you here? 
Camila sighed, her guard momentarily dropping. I met Mason through work. We started spending time together, and he confided in me about his marriage, about the difficulties you both were facing. Evelyn's brow furrowed. Difficulties? Is that what he told you? Camila nodded, a hint of remorse in her eyes. I knew about the issues in your marriage, Evelyn. I didn't plan for things to escalate the way they did. Evelyn's skepticism lingered. Escalate? What exactly did Mason tell you? Camila hesitated before responding. He said your marriage was falling apart, that he felt neglected and unloved. We developed a connection, but I never expected things to reach this point. Evelyn's eyes narrowed. Connection. You were aware that he's terminally ill, weren't you? Camila looked down, a sense of guilt clouding her expression. I found out recently. I didn't know when I got involved with him, and now, I'm caught in this mess. Evelyn's voice remained steady. Camila, our marriage may be strained, but it's our personal struggle. I won't let it be tainted by outside interference. Camila, sensing the gravity of the situation, looked up with a trace of vulnerability. I never meant for any of this to happen. I thought we could find solace in each other, but now I see the damage it's caused. Evelyn sighed, a mix of understanding and frustration in her eyes. This is a tangled web, Camila. Mason's choices have affected us all. It's time to untangle it, to face the consequences and seek a resolution that doesn't leave any more lives in ruin. As the conversation unfolded, the living room became a stage for honesty and confrontation. The arrival of Camila introduced a new layer of complexity to an already intricate narrative, leaving Evelyn to grapple with the impact of Mason's choices not only on their marriage but on the lives of those unwittingly drawn into the web of deception. As Evelyn navigated the intricacies of Mason's terminal diagnosis and the revelation of his affair with Camila, a deeper understanding of Mason's true nature began to surface. The confrontations and revelations led to a pivotal moment where Mason's facade crumbled, laying bare the extent of his selfishness. One evening, as the shadows lengthened in the dimly lit study, Evelyn confronted Mason about the tangled web of deceit that surrounded them. The air was charged with the weight of unspoken truths as they sat facing each other, the room's atmosphere heavy with the consequences of their shared history. Mason, I need you to be honest with me. What led you to this point, to betray not only me but also your own mother? Evelyn's voice was a mixture of weariness and determination. Mason, seated with a palpable sense of defeat, looked at Evelyn with a glimmer of remorse. I don't know, Evelyn. Things just spiraled out of control. I never meant for any of this to happen. Evelyn's eyes narrowed, her patience wearing thin. That's not an answer, Mason. We can't move forward until you confront the root of your actions. Why did you betray us? Mason sighed, the weight of his choices evident in his weary expression. I always felt overshadowed by Claire's wealth. I wanted a comfortable life, and it seemed like an opportunity. But it got out of hand. Evelyn shook her head, disbelief etched on her face. So, you were willing to betray your mother, your wife, and yourself for financial gain. Is that all you care about, Mason? Mason's gaze wavered, unable to meet Evelyn's eyes. I never thought it would come to this. I got lost in my own desires, blinded by the illusion of an easier life. Evelyn's voice hardened. This isn't just about wealth, Mason. It's about trust, love, and the commitment we made to each other. You've shattered all of it. Mason's attempt at remorse felt shallow, his words lacking the sincerity Evelyn longed for. Can't we find a way to move forward? To salvage what's left of our marriage? Evelyn stood up, a mixture of anger and sadness in her eyes. There's nothing left to salvage, Mason. You've shown your true colors. I can't rebuild a life with someone who values material gain over love and integrity. 
Mason's eyes, now void of the defiance that once fueled him, met Evelyn's. What do you want, then? Evelyn's voice was resolute. I want the truth, Mason. I want you to face the consequences of your actions and find a way to make amends, not for me, but for yourself and for Claire. As the confrontation reached its peak, Mason was left to grapple with the reality of the choices he had made. The unraveling of his carefully constructed facade exposed a man driven by greed and a profound lack of self-awareness. The path ahead seemed uncertain, with redemption hanging in the balance, and Evelyn, faced with the stark truth, stood at the crossroads of a life that demanded resilience and self-discovery. In the aftermath of confronting Mason's true nature, Evelyn found herself at a crossroads. The weight of the past, the betrayal, and the impending loss collided, pushing her to make decisions that would shape the course of her future. One afternoon, as sunlight streamed through the living room windows, Evelyn sat alone with her thoughts. The quietude of the room was a stark contrast to the turmoil within her. The realization that her marriage had crumbled beneath the weight of deception forced her to confront the need for a new beginning. A knock on the door interrupted Evelyn's contemplation. Claire, Mason's mother, stood in the doorway, her eyes filled with a mixture of concern and empathy. Evelyn, may I come in? Claire's voice was soft, her genuine care evident. Evelyn nodded, allowing Claire to enter. The two women sat in the living room, a shared understanding between them. I've heard about Mason's condition, Claire began, her words laced with sympathy. I want you to know that I never condoned his actions. What he did was a betrayal, not just to you but to our family. Evelyn appreciated Claire's candor. Thank you, Claire. It's been a difficult journey, and I'm still trying to make sense of it all. Claire reached out, placing a comforting hand on Evelyn's. You're a strong woman, and you don't have to face this alone. We both deserve better than the life Mason tried to construct. Evelyn smiled, a glimmer of gratitude in her eyes. I've decided it's time for a new beginning, not just for me but for both of us. I want to move forward, to rediscover who I am outside the confines of a broken marriage. Claire nodded, a sense of solidarity between them. You have my support, Evelyn. We can rebuild our lives together, free from the shackles of Mason's mistakes. In the following weeks, Evelyn began the process of reclaiming her life. She rekindled old friendships, pursued neglected passions, and found solace in the simple joys that had been overshadowed by years of turmoil. One evening, as Evelyn tended to the garden, a space that had once been her sanctuary, her friend Julia joined her, a knowing smile on her face. You look different, Evelyn, as if a weight has been lifted, Julia observed. Evelyn nodded, a sense of liberation in her voice. I've chosen to embrace a new beginning, Julia. Life is too short for regrets, and I want to paint my canvas with bold, bright colors. Julia grinned. You deserve every bit of happiness, my friend. What's next for you? Evelyn's eyes sparkled with determination. I'm not entirely sure, but I know it involves rediscovering myself, embracing the freedom to choose my path and leaving behind the shadows of the past. As Evelyn embarked on her journey toward a new beginning, the chapters of her life unfolded with a promise of self-discovery, resilience, and the potential for a brighter future. The echoes of Mason's betrayal lingered, but Evelyn, now empowered by her choices, looked ahead with optimism and a newfound sense of purpose. One sunny morning, Evelyn stood at the threshold of her home, the echoes of the past gradually fading. The divorce papers, a symbol of closure, lay on the table, awaiting her signature. As she picked up the pen, a wave of mixed emotions swept over her, relief, sadness, and a profound sense of liberation. The doorbell chimed, signaling the arrival of Julia, her steadfast friend through thick and thin. Julia entered, her eyes reflecting a blend of empathy and admiration. I brought your favorite pastries, Julia said, holding up a bag. 
A small celebration for a new beginning. Evelyn smiled, grateful for Julia's unwavering support. Thank you, Julia. Today feels like the end of a tumultuous chapter and the beginning of something brighter. As they sat in the cozy living room, indulging in pastries and hot tea, Julia couldn't help but express her admiration for Evelyn's resilience. You've come a long way, Evelyn. Not everyone can navigate such challenges with grace and strength, Julia remarked. Evelyn nodded, her gaze focused on the future. It's been a journey of self-discovery. I've learned to value myself, my happiness, and the genuine connections in my life. The conversation turned towards the prospect of what lay ahead for Evelyn. Julia leaned in, her curiosity evident. Have you thought about what you want to do now? The possibilities are endless. Evelyn's eyes sparkled with a newfound sense of purpose. I've decided to focus on my passion for writing. Maybe start a blog or even write that novel I've always dreamt of. The world is full of stories, and I want to share mine. Julia applauded the decision. That sounds like a wonderful plan. Your voice deserves to be heard, and there's so much wisdom you can offer to others. Encouraged by Julia's words, Evelyn felt a surge of confidence. And beyond that, I want to immerse myself in the things I love, travel, art, and spending time with genuine friends. It's time to live life on my terms. As the day unfolded, Evelyn's home became a hub of positive energy. Friends, old and new, gathered to celebrate the end of one era and the commencement of another. Laughter echoed through the rooms, signaling the beginning of a brighter, more authentic chapter. In a quiet moment, as Evelyn stood on the porch, watching the sunset, Claire approached her with a warm embrace. You've shown incredible strength, Evelyn. I admire your resilience and the grace with which you've handled everything, Claire said, her eyes reflecting a genuine affection. Evelyn reciprocated the embrace, grateful for the unexpected support. Thank you, Claire. It means a lot to have you by my side. I'm ready to move forward, to embrace whatever comes my way. Claire nodded, a shared understanding passing between them. Life is a journey, and you have the power to shape your destiny. Here's to new beginnings, my dear. As Evelyn embraced the promise of a fresh start, Surrounded by those who valued her for who she truly was, the final chapter of her story unfolded with the resilience of a woman who had weathered storms and emerged stronger on the other side. The path ahead, bathed in the hues of a setting sun, beckoned her to a future filled with authenticity, joy, and the infinite possibilities that awaited her.